Hello my loves, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a beautiful week wherever in the world you are. For those of you that are new here, my name is Nicole and today we're going to be doing a five-year review on my Gucci Aphidia bag in size small. So if you're thinking about getting this bag, hopefully you'll find this review helpful and let's get right into it. So even though I've had this bag for about five years, it is about six years old just because it was about a year old when I bought it on the pre-loved market. And as you can see, it is in great condition. I want to say that it's still in the same condition as the day I bought it. I absolutely love this bag. If I had to put a number on it, I would say I probably wear it about five to 10 times a year. So five to 10 times a year for five years, that's almost about 50 times. And it still looks amazing. What I love about this bag is that for new Gucci, it still definitely gives more of a vintage feel. I love that it has a combination of new Gucci mixed with old Gucci. So as you can see, we have the Gucci Supreme logo and then the traditional Gucci colors, red and green. And typically I'm not a fan of the Gucci Marmont logo, but I actually think that for this bag works because the logo is so small and so dainty. I think it really fits. And then we have this beautiful gold chain as the shoulder strap. I think it's absolutely stunning. And when you're wearing it, it almost looks like a jewelry piece. There is no leather padding on this strap, unfortunately. So I wouldn't say it's a bag that I would wear walking around the city just because it can start to dig into your shoulder over time, but still absolutely great for going out. So there's three different ways you can wear this bag. So first way is going to be on the shoulder, which I think is just so beautiful. I think it's the way that this bag is intended to be worn. Second way is going to be cross body. So as you can see on me, I am 5'1". And as someone that's 5'1", I think this really works as a cross body. It hits right at the hip bone area, which I absolutely love. So it's a perfect option when you're walking around or if your hands are full. Third option is going to be as a clutch. So the straps are not removable, but all you do is just tuck them inside the bag. And then you can turn it into this really cute clutch. I think it's so elegant looking. I absolutely love having it as this clutch option. I just think it really gives an elegant pop to your outfit. And so for having this bag for five years, the leather has aged really, really well. There's no warping and I don't even have any nicks anywhere on this bag. I am someone that takes good care of my handbags, but I still wear them. I still put them to use. The hardware is still in really, really great condition. There's maybe just a little bit of tarnishing right on the sides, but not that noticeable. And it's aging much better than some of my other hardwares like Louis Vuitton, for example. For whatever reason with LV, that hardware just starts to tarnish very fast. And I just haven't had that same experience with this bag. So I think what a lot of people don't like about this bag, or at least what they complain about, is the magnetic opening. It is slightly difficult to get in and out of just because these magnetic closures on the sides are so strong. That surprisingly doesn't really bother me. I actually like that it's not super easy for someone to go in and open this bag. But if opening your bags with absolute ease is something that's important to you, I would definitely recommend trying this on first. And I love the inside of this bag. It has this really luxurious looking silk blue interior. Even though nobody sees it, I think it's a really nice touch. And it does have two compartments and a little card holder slot. And you can fit quite a bit in here. I would say a wallet, keys, lip glosses, iPhone, even an iPhone Max will fit in here, no problem. I'm not someone that carries a lot of stuff, so this size bag is perfect for someone like me. Overall, I would say that it is about a medium weight handbag. It's not the lightest handbag, but it's not super heavy either. If anything, the gold chain is really what weighs it down, but it's also my favorite feature of the bag, so I think it's totally worth it. The stitching is still in really great condition, and I haven't had any real wear to the canvas either. So I purchased this bag for $15.95 in 2019 off the pre-loved market. It is currently on sale at Gucci for $2,050 USD. And so the question is, would I still pay that price in 2024? And so while I still definitely like the $15.95 price point much more, I would definitely still pay that amount in 2024. I just think this is such a timeless bag. I love the vintage feel. Love that it's a combo of old and new Gucci. And one of my favorite things about this bag too is that it's not one that you see everyone wearing. I think it's absolutely timeless and I think it's going to be a great bag to pass down to the next generation. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this style of video, make sure that you subscribe and hit the like button and I'll see you next time. Bye.